tonight with a scam currently impacting a lot of people here at home and across the country. Tonight, a Huntsville woman says you need to be on the lookout for her Facebook profile that she no longer can control, and it's because of a hacker. She says hackers are using her profile to scam you. WAFF 48's Matthew King joins us live from Auburn University's Research and Innovation Campus in Huntsville. Matthew, you talked with cybersecurity experts tonight who say this is unfortunately a common scam. Yeah, well, experts say it happens almost every single day. A hacker gets control of your account information, then uses that to go against you. And a Jennifer Adams case not only went against her, but also other people who interact with her Facebook page and also people just trying to get something for their home. For Jennifer Adams, a scammer's quick takeover of her Facebook profile was all it took for several people here in the Tennessee Valley to get scammed out of their money. It's so frustrating to not be able to do anything about it. She says she wasn't able to change her Facebook account information before a hacker got control of her account, then posed items for sale on Facebook Marketplace. But none of those items were ever delivered. The hacker posted on her page saying she was moving out of town and selling her household items at a great price. The hacker pretending to be me is saying, well, I'm out of town right now, but if you want to you know, leave a deposit, I can hold this item for you. But again, the sale was never actually real. People showed up to Adam's house and all they got was bad news. That's when they found out they were scammed. And I feel awful for the people that are sending this person money and then showing up at my door saying, hey, I'm here to pick up this vanity. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I have nothing to do with this account. Despite several complaints to Facebook to suspend the account, she says the profile is still up. There's not a phone number you can call. There's no one you can talk to. It's just you're kind of helpless. Cybersecurity expert with Auburn University, Marcus Sock, says this exact situation happens more often than you think. He says the delay in account suspensions is caused by artificial intelligence reading through Facebook guidelines. So when you're reporting, the first thing to read your report is not a human. It's going to be a machine. And, those, and you'll be interacting with a machine, an AI machine. Eventually, you'll cross the threshold where a human will get involved. That's normally when action begins to, to take place. You just have to be patient. It is unfortunate that it takes a while, but if, you, if you're persistent, Facebook will eventually fix it. Now, to avoid this happening to you, he recommends, number one, using two-factor authentication on all of your social media platforms, as well as limiting your friends list to private. That way, hackers can't find your friends, then go after them as well. Now, I reached out to Facebook's parent company, Meta, for comment on this process, and I never heard back from them. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matthew King, 48, on your side.